All right, so now that we have all the measurements, we wrote everything down. Um, I found this to be very, very useful. Uh, my buddy Tommy with the Nova uh, used this, and I actually purchased the same system he has. It's Performance Trends Four Link Calculator. So before we get started, you can read that right there. Four Link Calculator, okay? And what we're gonna do is gonna hit that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up, it's gonna give you, hit this measurements here, and it's gonna start with top, top axle bracket, bottom axle bracket, top frame bracket, bottom frame bracket, other measurements is gonna be like the weight, wheelbase, and all that stuff like that. Ride height change, adjust bars. And I'm gonna punch in all these numbers and then I'm going to show you what it looks like. But um, I guess let me see if I got one that's. Uh, let's see. Okay. This is. So basically it's going to look like that, all right? And it's going to show you where, where your bars are. This, this, is a, this is before you make any changes or put, punch anything in this, what it's giving you. So this here is your center of gravity. And in this case, these bars are so wide apart that it's showing it way out that way. I'm just going to show you real quick. I'm going to change. Uh, let's see. Options. Show all instant centers. So that means it's going to show you all the possible, all them little, little stars or crosses are all the possible instant centers that those holes in that bracketry will make. This green box, okay, is based off of, you know, whatever, experience. Let's call it experience and knowledge from uh, a guy called um, Dave Morgan. Dave Morgan suggests to put your instant center somewhere in that box above and below this, this line. That's your anti-squat line okay you want the car to rise you put it above that you want it to squat you put it below that so anywhere in there all those instant centers can be had with those calculations I highly suggest that you would get if you're gonna be doing this stuff Dave Morgan's chassis book okay uh, Full of great stuff explains how to do different things weigh the car scale the car set up ladder bars all that kind of stuff set up four link bars all that kind of stuff um, he gets really really into it with it um, he actually does classes you can sign up for one of his classes you can get online courses uh, we've done a couple of classes with him he's had he's actually done a couple of classes here at our shop um, but According to him, that's the spot you want to be. That's the sweet spot you want to be in. All right, now, depending on who you talk to, everybody's got their own opinion. Okay, so we're going to try different things um, and see where we end up with it. Now, we already know where it was before with the ladder bar, where it was crushing the tire, but then breaking loose. And we know where it is and just before this change with the four link, where it was just spinning, not making any traction. And now we know what we're going to do with the way it is now with the extensions on the bottom. And we're going to make those changes, put those settings in the car, put those settings into the computer, and then we'll have a baseline 
so that when we go to the track, we can video the car, look at the data, see what it's doing, and then actually make changes in the right direction. So we were going in the right direction, but we ran out of room with the four link. That's why we made the brackets, the extensions on the bottom. All right. So performance trends, four link calculator. Um, I believe it was $99 and they download it. You could, it's a download or you could buy the hard disk for 150 bucks. They give you the download. You can download it instantly and they send you the disk. Um, I have both just in case something crashes. I can put the disk into a different computer if I'm at the track or something. All right, so that's what that's going to be like. And you're going to measure over here. You're going to be measuring when it says measurement, where it says other measurements, right? And it's asking you for, uh, you know, what type of suspension it is for link, wheelbase height of the instant center, the weight on the rear of the car. You gotta punch all these numbers in. This is the one that comes with the program or something, but these are just generic numbers. They're just showing you what to put. But um, the dryer shaft angle, the pinion angle, the transmission yoke angle, um, uh, approximately ET, what you're looking to run, all, all, all the different stuff on here. Like I said, you gotta punch all that data in. I gotta, I gotta do that now, so. and. Once you do that, then you would hit OK, and it would calculate, you know, it would give you this picture of where the instant center should be or where it is according to the numbers that you punch in. So it's really important that you punch in uh, very accurate numbers to the eighth, okay, of an inch. So, and then you need to know how far the bars are from the rear how much further ahead of the rear center line of the axle they are. It's gonna ask you all this stuff. So once you punch all that in, and then it calculates. All right, hopefully that helps you guys. Um, I'll show you what kind of difference it makes once we do the, um, once we put all these in and go to the track, we'll show you what it's doing and we'll keep you up on how to use this stuff. All right. I'm gonna just show you how this actually plots it out real quick so you're looking at up here right I already did hole number one this is top axle bracket hole number one you punch in how inches ahead of the axle so it's that hole is one inch ahead of the axle center line it's 16 and three quarters of an inch above the ground and when you hit OK or punch it it actually puts the hole there okay so that's your top one then you go to number two Okay, so now we got number two, right, like that. Now it's going to ask you, same thing, inches above axle. In this case, it's one and a quarter. So one point, uh, one and one quarter. So it's going to be 1.1, I mean, I'm sorry, 1.25. And then it's going to say inches above the ground. In this case, it's 17 and three quarters. So 17 point 75 okay and then when you hit go to number three right away it plots the next hole up see it now we're gonna go to number three number three is okay the third hole up is is 1.5 inches from the center line and it's actually 19 inches from the ground that's the new bracketry we put in Okay, then when you hit that, next hole comes up, and look, it's spaced out. It, it looks just like what's in the car now. Pretty cool. All right, so that's top bracket. Then we go up here, and you're going to save it. So you say OK. All right, go to the next. Go to the next measurement, go to the bottom bracket, bottom bracket, same thing, hole number one, it starts with the bottom hole, so it's one and a quarter, 1.25, oops, sorry, 
two five and the bottom bracket is six and three quarters six point seventy five so now that is hole number one so that would be all the way back hole number two so now it plots all right so number two of the bottom bracket is same thing one and a quarter and then the height of that one is seven and three quarters so seven and three quarters number three is same one and a quarter and the height is eight and three quarters all right so now you got that one plotted out come down here save exit go to the next one top frame bracket and then you gotta punch all those in you gotta punch all them in and it's gonna go to the next one the next one and so on but it plots out the it, it, it's pretty cool because it, it actually plots the holes out as you're doing it all right all right so I'm just going to show you what how this how this makes a difference real quick. Uh, this is with no weight in it, no you know no nothing but uh, no nose or nothing on it. But here here's what I'm just going to do. I'm going to we're going to take this upper bar, all right? If you see that, we're going to take the upper bar and we're going to lengthen it one flat. Okay, so right now it's in neutral, and you could see, all right. That's what that says right there. I'm going to lengthen it and one flat. Right? That's one flat. And you see what, what a difference it makes. So that's one flat. That's two flats. And usually you don't really go more than two, but that's a third flat. Okay, so you're basically getting, go back, take, take that back out of it, right. back to neutral. And you see how much of a difference it makes from left to right. Now the same thing happens with the, um, the anti-roll. If you make that longer or shorter it's also going to make put weight or take weight off of this side so what you want to do is you want to have these in neutral and then just put one turn all right one turn so you're basically going to make one turn not a whole turn but just one of these flats so take it out, get you know, get some tension off it, and then put one flat in it. So that's how this one is right now. That's only got one flat in it, believe it or not. Not even tight. So the car should go straight once we put all the weight and everything back in. And then I'm going to, I'm actually going to adjust all these the way they're supposed to be. But I'm just showing you how much it changes, you know, the left to right, how much it changes by moving the bars around. So we we'll get the car up on the scales, up on the lift, so it's easy to work on. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to put the nose back on it, put everything back in it. Um, put a driver in the seat and all that stuff in it. And then go from there and then adjust everything. Make it all neutral first. Um, and then just that one flat on the anti-roll. And we're going to try it from there. It should be good. And if not, we know which way to go. We make it one flat longer or put a little bit more pressure on the driver's rear. So if it drives to the left, you want to put, you know, more 
on the right on the left tire if it drives to the right you want to take some weight off of that left tire so that's how that works and then you also have you know if that doesn't correct it then you could do rear steer and that's where you take this bar which is the lower bar and make this longer or shorter so depending on which way the car is pulling or pushing or whatever you're going to adjust that okay so if you have any questions give me a call ask me whatever uh, if you need your car scaled if you need the setup done let me know uh, we have all the equipment to do all that I'm going to do one uh, one video later on doing a wheel alignment also front and rear wheel alignment but uh, to, to make sure that you got to make sure everything's square in the car first of all but I'll go through that in the next video and, sh and show you that not the next video but a video I will do that in the next couple of videos I'll do a a drag race wheel alignment so you can see that all right and that should take care of that so we'll talk to you soon don't forget to like and subscribe and leave some comments if you want call me if you need me the phone number's there 914-490-4306 and uh, we got shirts and hoodies I know Christmas is coming it's only a few days away guys so if you need a shirt or hoodie let us know we'll get them out to you before Christmas all right talk to you soon